All right, so though there is more I can do to play with and perfect it, right now I'm pretty happy with it. So let's save it and submit it to PhotoBucket as the assignment. So we're going to submit three things. You're going to submit your sketch, your vector line arc, and then your color solution. So let's save your color solution first. First, of course, save it wherever it is as a Photoshop file. But then to submit it, because it's a spot illustration, like a logo, we want it to be versatile. So I'm going to leave the stroke on, but I'm going to turn off all the backgrounds. And I'm going to also save it as a PNG. To the desktop. So that is free floating. PNG. That's the, the online file format that supports transparency. So I've saved it as a PSD for myself. Okay, next, right from this same Photoshop file, I can turn off all the color effects, leave the uh, offset on, all this coloring away. Remember, digital coloring happens behind the line art, right? And it's funny to see how the line art looks with those color holds, and also turn off all the color holds. All right, so there we go. So we just have the clean line art. So that is your vector. Because you can't put a vector online, we want to put the clean vector line art from Photoshop. So we're going to save that as a PNG. But we have to give it a new name so it doesn't overwrite the last PNG. So I'm going to call this line art after assignment seven spot illustration to the, up, to the desktop as a PNG. Okay, and then the, the last thing we have to submit, we have to probably go back to our scan, is our sketch, right? And that can be a JPEG. So we have these three things we are submitting. Sketch, line art, and a PNG. And then to prepare for our next assignment, which is to do some type design to go with it and make a poster, so from the sketch to the vector to the full color, right? Uh, I'm going to show you how you can put this onto different products. We're going to use Redbubble pages, and you're going to have that option. But we might tinker with it a little bit more before that. Okay, so we go to Photo Bucket. There it is. We go to assignment seven spot illustration, but not the past student examples, which is what you're seeing right now. You're going to go right to the folder for assignment seven spot illustration, drag and drop right into there. Your sketch, your vector, and then your color solution as a PNG. I'm going to put mine into my instructional examples and eventually we'll put them on products. And remember, we made this at 350 pixels per inch, at least 12 inches wide. So this, this could work on a lot of different uses, right? That makes a, a mighty big sticker. And then you want them to go in this order. The sketch first. I already had my sketch in there. <laughs> Your vector line art second. and your color solution third. So you do that with your titling. And that's all there is to it. So we use our semester code, FA19, just your first name, and then one for your sketch. This one's gonna be number three then your vector line art is going to be number two.
I think I'll get rid of this. Okay, so I'm just going to show you really quickly what we're going to do with this spot illustration next. Because that's your next assignment and you want to start thinking about it. And you can see this already in assignment 8. You can look at the past student examples or the instructional examples. What we're going to do is make type design in black and white, just like we do with logo, and in color that works with our spot illustration. And we're going to make a poster. So think like how type can be used to go with your spot illustration. We'll talk about blocking. And we'll learn how to make the type as a vector. And pretty much practice these same skills again, but as they relate to type. And it starts with sketching it out, you know, thinking of different, looking at your spot illustration, thinking, or you can do it with your logo, thinking of uh, ways that type can go with it. And start paying attention to how you like type in the culture. There's lots of different ways it's used. It might fascinate you. But basically we're doing poster design next. We've done the artwork, now we need the type. And the type is, is just another form of artwork. All right, that's it.